Have you ever wondered what's behind your drywall? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best way that I've ever found to find out exactly what is behind your drywall. Hi friends, my name is Alan Lee, your day-to-day -day handyman business coach, and I aspire to help walk with other handymen through their handyman business and teach them the skills to create a successful business that runs on their own so they can step away and focus on the things that really matter in life. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about stud finders and not the one watching this video. <laughs> that, that's just a quick dad joke. But we're going to talk about stud finders and what the best stud finder that I've ever found that actually allows you to see behind the wall. Now, what I'm talking about here is the Wallabot DIY. Okay. Now, the specific question is, does this Wallabot work? Because it's advertised. If you guys have ever seen this Wallabot, it's advertised where you can see pipes, you can see electrical, you can see all kinds of things behind drywall, lath and plaster, concrete. In this video today, we're going to talk specifically about drywall. We don't have any lath and plaster around here in California that's very readily available. So we're going to mainly be testing it on drywall. But we've had this uh, for about two months now and we've really put it through its courses. But we're going to uh, go over here and run it on some drywall and show you guys the results so you guys can see firsthand. And we'll talk about at the end of this video whether I think this is worth anything or not and if it's something that we carry on a day-to-day -day basis with us. So before you go drilling into your wall, make sure you watch this video because you might just want to check this puppy out. Okay, step one is to calibrate. Okay, calibration complete. So you could choose three different, pan, images, or expert. We usually use images. And then it's good to go. Move side to side. We're choosing this wall because there's some electrical in this wall right here. So let's see what we find. Wooden stud. And there's the center. Okay. And move over. Looks like there's a pipe or a wire. It says pipe or wire. Most likely a wire. There's actually an uh, outlet right below here. Which is showing right where. And then you can actually trace that wire all the way down the, wire, down the wall. It kind of comes and goes, so it's somewhat glitchy in a sense, and this can only pick up one image at a time. So if, if the wire is right next to the stud, sometimes it'll start seeing the stud, sometimes it'll start seeing the wire. But that's what a wire looks like right there, and the stud is just to the left of it. Then if you move to the right, we should hit another wire for that outlet, which is right there. So there's the wire running there for that switch and then there's a stud right there okay and then let's see can we pick up that data cable there down to your left let's move it over here and see if we can pick up this data cable in this stud cavity okay there's that data cable and you can actually trace the data cable down the wall too and again, sometimes you lose it, sometimes you don't. Oh, because it's right next to a stud. So that would probably be my only deal is it can only pick up one image at a time. So if it's right next to the stud, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to find. There it is right there. But it's nice because earlier, on a job that we did earlier today, we had data cable that was running... Um, horizontally through a wall and so when it intersected some of the studs we were able to kind of write on the wall where it intersected so we knew not to screw through there so that was kind of a cool thing and yeah do you got anything else to say for that Frank no and they were metal studs yeah they were metal studs yeah. so it actually showed us metal studs on there yeah. which was really helpful to know what fastener so if, if this case it says wood stud and then if it picks up a metal stud it'll do that can we switch it over to expert mode just to kind of show what's going on here? Expert, we still haven't really figured out most of this stuff. Oh, you have to rescan it, huh? No, it already scans it. So I think it's kind of heat sensor. So it senses the, obviously, the stud there. Oh, and it shows you that there's a wooden stud there. And then does it show the wire when you get to the next? You kind of see something going on there. Oh, yeah. Piper wire, it's got a, like a 
line there. Press and hold. Oh, and now move it to the right. There we go. You can actually see the, the bar on there moving, and it actually gives you kind of a layout. You know, stud there, stud there. So that's kind of what it looks like. I don't really know how helpful that is, but, you know, for someone it might be. <laughs> but I think the images by far. Is that what you would say, Frank? Yeah. The images are probably the best. Most definitely. And the only thing is, if you get it off the wall, then you got to recalibrate it. Um, but it's really helpful, I think, let's, when you see... Let's find oh, out. yeah, let's find out if you need to recalibrate it. Oh, wow. Maybe you don't need to recalibrate it. And there's, and there's your wire. Change position, though? Wasn't that... Well, I don't know. Try... Or was that this one? That was that one over there. Try going up and see if you could follow that. And so you could see that wire is kind of pretty much right on that right on that stud there and then it kind of might jet off a little bit to your right very cool but I find it really helpful when there's a wire that's running horizontally through your studs makes okay, it helpful so um, pretty cool um, let's recap what, what are your initial thoughts of this wall of I, I think it does a decent job it uh, it seems a little more uh, accurate than a stud finder yes I, you know uh -huh. i mean i think the stud finder finds the studs and all that but for whatever reason looking at a picture that says here's the stud or here's the wire or here's this instead of yeah. just the light lights up and there's something there right but so, you don't know what it is yeah right and it's been accurate Mm -hmm. The times that we've used it, it's been accurate. Yeah. So. Look, at, it's actually picking up a metal stud there while Frank is holding it. He's a oh, he's a stud. My, my ring. <laughs> it's, my, oh, it's picking up his ring. My ring. Because my ring's right okay. there. Okay. Oh, well, and Frank is a metal stud. Right. Um, <laughs> the only thing that Frank noted that we don't know, we haven't figured out because we haven't looked yet, is what plumbing pipes look like. I don't know if, if they would be thicker, like, you know, if you have like two inch... ABS or something. I don't know if it'd be thicker than what a piper shows right, on that. Right. But that'll be interesting. Um, but we've used it a few times on a cave. We got it about a month ago, like we said. Um, yeah, the biggest thing is I really like that you can see the wires running horizontally through the wall. Yeah. So you know, like today we installed some brackets on a wall going vertically, and we knew, oh, let's not put screws in at this location because that's right where a wire is going through. So right. that was helpful to avoid any potential issues. So um it's still picking up frank's metal stud here mm -hmm. so <laughs> but anyways thank you all so much for tuning in this video we'd love to hear your thoughts on if you have the wall of bot what are your thoughts on that leave us a comment um subscribe to this channel and uh, we'll talk to you all later